One of two spots in the NFC title game awaits the winner here as we're underway in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. They begin with a run by Barkley, and he'll power his way up near the 25. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. There he goes, left side. And he gets us to the other side of midfield, across the 45 before going out. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. Now Hurts changing up the play. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Just one catch for him last week in the wild card win, but getting involved early here and picks up the first. A handoff to Barkley on the option. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second and five. And now an audible here into something else. Hurts. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Scoring first so critical in the postseason. They've got it here first and goal. No follow by fumble. It's out, it's loose. And the Cardinals have got it. Go the other way. Through an opening, and there he goes. And they bring this one back. A scoop and score. A fumble recovery touchdown for Arizona. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive, then suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. On first and ten, it's Hurts. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 
Just three catches in the wild card victory for him a week ago, and now he's got his first here, and it's good for a first down. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. But first down, Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end gunner. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A gain of 32 that time. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. It'll be Hurts on the option. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Second and goal from the six this time. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. They'll send the tight end in motion. Barkley is into the end zone for an eagle touchdown. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Play action. Ritter. They'll roll him out right. They'll get five out of the scramble and hit second down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. Sometimes I think cornerbacks can benefit from the fact that quarterbacks might just forget about the idea that they might be near the line of scrimmage. How about the anticipation there sneaking in and making a big play in the backfield? In motion, the tight end. Ritter throwing on third down. Flush to his right. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play there for Philly. 66 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. 
Well, the spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't it? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Now Hurt's going to move him around. King, Phil King, Phil King. Another try for Barkley. And yeah, not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. A big one coming in this divisional round playoff. Third and goal. And now they'll shift things around. to throw on third and goal. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Boy, such a good drive. You'd hate to have it end in three. Do you think about going for it? Absolutely. I mean, the fact that they've moved the ball so well should lead you to the decision that maybe we should go for it right here. Also, as a head coach, show some confidence in your team. Let them know you think they can go get it. A field goal would break the tie, but look at this. Instead, they're going to go for it on fourth and goal. And Audible here to get a new look. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. The kick by Elliott is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Ready. Blue check. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Ritter with it after the play fake. Finally his target, it's Trey McBride. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Off the play fake. It's Ritter. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Give that sack to Kobe Dean. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, Took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Ritter to throw it. And he comes back with one complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Ritter completes this quickly. Just a gain of a couple there. And that will bring up second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, 
You often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On second down, they'll run it here. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. On second down, Ritter escaping the pressure right. This is caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 23 yards, the final tally. Here we go. Hey, go Fury. Ultra, go Ultra. Go Red. In motion goes the tight end. Ready? He'll get it here on the end of round. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Cardinals are once again back in front. Extra point by Batchley up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Hurt sets up to throw it. Open man has got it at the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here's Hurts to throw. This is Smith with a grab. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 25-yard line. Throwing is Hurts. yards for the touchdown and the Eagles have taken the lead Elliott good with a PAT and it's now 17 14 Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. 
Oh, a good return up past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Second and ten. Blue striker. Smack red. Here's Ritter. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Hey, green. Drill green. Blaster, six. Like two. Looking to throw it here, Ritter. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And that will bounce out of bounds before they can get a return going. Talk about angling that one perfectly, partner. We know the ball can bounce anywhere, especially how it's shaped. But that one, as if on cue, goes out of bounds perfectly. Perfect indeed, right at the one-yard line. Excellent coffin corner punt. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. And quickly, they get to the line. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. Now they'll audible to something else. Play action. Here's Hurts. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. to avoid punting from their own end zone so they can use something here on third down. Smith will come in motion right. From the gun, it's Hurts. And it is caught. And all the way to the 25 before he's hit and dropped. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Now he's forced out left. And he will not throw it away. He goes out of bounds, well shy of the line of scrimmage, so that's a sack. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going deep for Brown. And that'll be incomplete with a penalty flag here on the field. And I'm not sure he was still behind the line when he let that thing go. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Ready. Opposite green. Check match. Hunt, hunt. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back go. to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Hey, check Mega. Hut. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. On second down, they'll run it here. And he'll get about three out of that up to the 39-yard line. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here's third and seven. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Ritter will set up to throw it. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. They'll get that one out quickly to Brown. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. A gain of five brings up second and five. At no, the no, third no. Ball, yard line. No, no. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Hurts. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And a big turnover there his guys will get the football back. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half, and that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security, and none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Unfortunately for you, you've been around me for a little while now, so you know me as well as anyone and how I look at a game. I don't ever advocate abandoning anything, but in this case, I'm going against my own thought process. You gotta change it up. You gotta start throwing it around a little bit, finding ways to try and move the ball because keeping it on the ground just isn't working for them. Yeah, maybe get him the ball out of the passing game, a swing pass outside or something, just something to vary it up. So five yards here, five on the play, and third and eight now. Down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Black. 
Working from the gun, Ritter. Toward the sideline, intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Now Hurts looking to change the play. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that's incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A.J. Brown, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Elliott good on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z go. and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Ready? And they'll run on the inside handoff. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Ritter now. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Isaiah Rogers. Inside the 10. A great pick, nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it, because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero, but we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back, get the yardage, and really help out your offense. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Try to punch it in. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. Elliott good with a PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. 
I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. Now Ritter back to throw. Dancing to his left. No, oh, and that is incomplete. But when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw, Ritter. Going up top. And this one incomplete. And another throw that really could have been, maybe should have been intercepted. That would have been number four. Instead, it's fourth down. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. Standing just outside his own goal line. Fielded at the 20. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. On second down, here's Barkley. And he stopped after a gain of one, not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. Now Hurts changing up the play. The man in motion is Brown. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hit zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up, but once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. Round up, Yeti. Yeti, Yeti. Hey, Silver, Silver, Silver. Hey, easy, 63, 63, back. Hey, round up, Yeti. No, no, no. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, 46 yards. And the Eagles are moving closer to a date now in the NFC Championship game as they're able to extend this fourth quarter lead. 
Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is now 24. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The Cardinals take over first and ten. Let's go now. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Yellow. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round, Cut. hanging by a thread, if that, as they begin here with a first and 10 on the wrong side of the scoreboard. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this when I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. Here we go. Here we After go. the incomplete Ray, pass, here now is second and ten. Blue striker. Ready, ready. Ritter. And got his man complete. Now he's free at the 35. He may go. Touchdown, Cardinals. A big play there. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Cardinals are able to cut into that deficit. The Cardinal go. offense not going anywhere. They'll stay out and go for two. Ritter will throw for it. And he'll find his way in for two. And we're back to a two-score game. The lead's cut to 16. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Eagles' hands team able to cover it up. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Still on his feet. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Saquon Barkley saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Eagles continue to pull the playoff surprise as they lead big here on the road. Elliott good with a PAT, and that pushes the lead up to 23. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. It certainly has not been the outing that they envisioned on their home turf in the divisional round of the playoffs, and they have been pushed around, and now their back's against the wall. Ritter looking to throw on first and 10. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play. But in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage.
Here's second and ten. Out of the gun, here's Ritter. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. Well, I get it, Charles. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Down big. They just sent their receivers out, let it fly. But the defense, they were ready. Yeah, and there aren't too many people left in this stadium that couldn't see that coming. But that's not a major criticism at all because you had to try it. What you're hoping for is one of your athletes out-athletes everyone else and makes a dramatic play. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Barkley. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Saquon Barkley taking it in from the 20. And the Eagles up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Yeah, they would have been happy with the first down, but this is even better. Once he's past the marker, it's cream cheese from there, and he bumps it to the outside, and it's just going to run away from defenders on his way toward the pylon. Elliott good on the extra point, and this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Down. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Ready. Now Ritter to throw on first down. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Let's go. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Ready? Ritter to throw it. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. On the ball. On the ball. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Ritter here on third and two. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 40. To the air again, it's Ritter. He's going to rifle one deep left side. That is incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. And my goodness, another interception. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. at the line this Philly offense set to go well they don't really need the points here Charles given what we're looking at on the scoreboard but they've scored on three consecutive possessions three consecutive drives and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on and things have gotten that way in the NFL haven't they partner because in the old days people would you know they get off the gas a little bit right but now people continue to accelerate but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one but the way that this game is gone they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall Hurts with a quick throw, complete. And he'll be down at the 46. So they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. And they have secured a spot in the conference championship and now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there, the Super Bowl does loom in the future. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Glendale.